Hey guys, so this is going to uh, just be a continuation of my last video. Uh, this is only to do with VirtualBox if you're running virtual machines. Um, if you remember in the last video, I only had a low resolution screen. That's because the guest editions weren't installed, so I'm going to show you how to do that quickly. Uh, it just involves a couple extra steps if you're using Linux, unlike Windows. So if you click on Devices and insert Guest Edition CD image, what's that? that's going to do is mount a virtual CD, like you're, you're putting a CD in the slot of the virtual computer. Now in Windows it's pretty easy. Um, you just start up the file manager here. Here is the disk that was installed. So in, uh, in Windows it's easy, it has an auto run and executables, you just run it and that's it and you're done. In uh, Linux, like I said, there's a couple extra steps. So with PC Man FM, my file manager here, I can go to Tools and open current folder in Terminal. That's going to open it in this folder. So as you can see here, <coughs> it's mounted the disk and in the folder uh, slash media, slash your username, slash VBox Editions, version number, etc. So a couple of extra steps that you have to do before installing the additions. You're going to do sudo app install build dash essential and also module dash assistant. Hit enter password and it's going to go online, it's going to download your packages and it's going to install them. I've already installed them so it's not going to do that. Now if you do uh, an ls you could see uh, all your executables are in here. The, we're in the, the virtual CD uh, folder right now. So now what you're going to do is sudo dot slash for the current folder vbox linux editions dot run. Hit enter and it's going to go through. So right now it's removing the installed version thinking I'm trying to upgrade and then it's going to reinstall building kernels. <clears throat> You'll have to excuse my voice, I have, I'm have i catching a bit of a cold here. So now what this is going to allow you to do once it's installed is um, let you be able to go from full screen back to windowed mode and uh, you know, resize your, your, your desktop resolution according to how big you make this window. So here you can see now I made the window on the host machine in Windows smaller so it adjusted the uh, resolution so we have the taskbar here your your tint to and everything's all centered and if I make it big again it it takes a second and then it switches out and then if I go full screen you can see the taskbars shot itself down now <coughs> So yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys in case uh, you guys are following my last video and you're also using a virtual machine to play with this. Uh, this makes your life a lot easier and um, lets you always have your desktop maximized in whatever window you have. Um, and that's it. So I hope you uh, found it handy. And uh, if you like the video, Click like, give it a thumbs up, whatnot, and uh, share it. All right, thanks, guys. See you next time.